This is Twit. Boy, it seems like there's a lot going on this week. and There's a few things going on this week that uh, we've been waiting for for a very long time. And Rob is sort of going to lead out in that because there's something that we have been waiting for for has, has it been a decade? Has it been yep. a decade, Rob? Yeah, we'll get to that. It's been really. Pl- it's been a very <laughs> long, long time. time. Yes. yes, it's. But yeah, it's here. <laughs> it's finally here. <laughs> the release we have all been waiting for. Is it Grand Theft Auto Six? No. Half Life Three? Nope. Maybe it's the Cosmic Desktop. Okay, again, Sally. No. Looks like. Looks like I'm going to be waiting a little longer for those things. But this week, released just this week, after a decade, give or take, of waiting, the release candidates uh, have all been tried and played around with for quite some time now. Okay, without further ado, released this week is GIMP 3.0. So, I mean, how long have we been waiting? Uh, Sarav Rudra at I. It's Foss uh, says GIMP 3.0 was announced 10 years ago in 2015. Now, if you look at uh, Joy Sneddon at uh, OMG Ubuntu, he says GIMP 3.0 is a result of seven years of development. So I guess they did nothing for three years there. I don't know. But Michael Larable at Pharonix says he has been writing about GIMP 3.0 for some 13 years. So I had to do a little digging myself to see what's going on. How long have we been waiting? So what I what I found a little bit of my research, I mean, obviously this was all in my head at one point and you know, long time's gone by, but GIMP 2.0 was released in 2004. And you know, for me, once any major version of anything is released, I'm kind of already waiting for the next one. So I'd have to say we've been waiting for over 20 years for GIF 3.0. I mean, once 2.0 is out, you kind of know 3.0 is coming somewhere. But looking at the GIMP website itself, it it was announced 10 years ago in 2015, um, like like, uh, Rudruff said. But they didn't start working on it until after GIMP 2.10, which was released in 2018. And... I can only guess that uh, Michael Larabo must have been speculating on the future of GIMP 3.0 long before it's ever announced, which must bring it to his 13 years. And I don't know what, what happened about the other seven years before that. But anyway, I guess the real question is, how long have you been waiting for GIMP 3.0? 20 years for me. <laughs> so highlights of this new release include a much refined interface written in GTK 3. Uh, a little behind since we have GTK4, but eh, we'll get there. And, and it allows use of the mouse scroll wheel to flip through different dockable dialogues tabs along with a new slash screen and logo uh, as splash screen, not slash, uh, as well as improvements to the legacy icon theme to uh, look great on high DPI screens. And, you know, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, you know, let me just switch something over here for those watching. I, I have played with it a little bit, but I think it looks pretty good. But if you read a lot of the comments, especially on OMG Ubuntu, you would kind of think the new UI is rather horrible. There's a lot of people complaining on there, but I don't know. I assume it's just a bunch of Adobe fanboys or something. <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, not like this 1990s interface, like some people refer to but decide for yourself i like it i think it looks pretty good other features though if you're if you don't care about the ui just has to work right who cares if it looks old which it doesn't but anyway you can exchange files with more applications including bc7 dds files as well as better psd which is photoshop's uh, native file better psd export and many other new formats. You can set your paint tool to expand layers automatically as needed. Uh, Pro quality text got easier. That's their words. Because you can style your text, apply outlines, shadows, bevels, and more. Uh, And you you can still edit your text 
uh, change font and size, and even tweak the style settings. <clears throat> Uh, organizing your layers has become much easier with the ability to select multiple items at once, move them uh, or transform them all together. Color management has improved again uh, as, as their long-term project to make GIMP an advanced image editor for all usages. That's what they say. Uh, they updated to the GTK3 for modern desktop usage, which, um, you know, we're on GTA4, but and oh big one for linux users big one big one for that we're fans of native whalen mm -hmm. uh, with high D dpi support which i mentioned above that the dpi support but <clears throat> on linux you kind of you really want whalen for that so and it has native support so boom and maybe one of the biggest improvements i saved this for last it was the first on their list but i saved it for last uh because it's really something that it graphical editor working with layers really wants and that's non-destructive editing for oh, nice. for most commonly used filters and i know we brought that up before but you know I'm, I'm you probably don't pay attention to every word i say and you probably forgot i mentioned this in one of the release candidates several years ago but <laughs> and you know there's a lot more in there too this is really just the highlights and I'm looking forward to doing some graph work, working in, in GIMP again myself. I don't do as much as I used to, but uh, I don't know. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, you know, I've been I've been running GIMP three for a while now because some distros like Fedora just said basically, I forget this. We're just going to go ahead and ship it. We're going to ship it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, if I'm going off memory here, but if if my memory serves me correct, even though they're on GTK three now the conversion from two to three kind of paved the way to make mm -hmm. future conversions a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was definitely the idea. Uh, from some of the articles I read, it sounds like some of them were uh, going on the uh, possibility that the GTK may three may be forked instead of going to GTK four. So hmm. that they stay with it. Interesting. That's a very interesting thought. We'll see if that happens. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>